Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Jessica Jones issue one. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Um, this this week I will not have a new Mother Versus, and also um, Comic You Know episode will not be this week. Also because of New York Comic Con, there's going to be a lot of nice content from there. But I will be doing all my reviews today. Uh, so let's start talking about Jessica Jones issue one. So, uh, Jessica Jones, finally! It's been so many years since we've gotten Alias or Jessica Jones type series, and uh, I feel like even with Jessica Jones being so popular, she hasn't really been in the comics that much. Of course, she's, you know, guest starred, she's in some of Luke Cage's book, but not really showcased like this. So I was really excited. I'm a huge Alias fan, huge Jessica Jones fan, and we have the original creative team of Alias, working on Jessica Jones, which really I was very excited for. But let's start talking about the issue. Um, so of course, cover. I uh, really like it. It's a good throwback to Alias, kind of this painting style, noir, noir feel to it. Uh, really like the cover. Now let's start talking about the artwork, the interior artwork. Um, and again, as always, it's a throwback to old Alias. You're jumping right into um, that Alias vibe again. Um, and I also like the little details here, like the little Dazzler shirt over over there. There's some nice uh, little Easter eggs throughout. Um, and facial expressions. I think this artist always did a really good job at, like seeing that d disgusted face on Jessica's um, facial expression right there. Uh, I really like that. Some good action. So overall, just really um, good artwork that fits the tone of this book. It's a mystery detective book. It has that noir feel. It has the grittiness, but it's not um, muddy art. It's You can still see the details very well, and like I said, facial expressions are, are really well done here. But let's start talking about the issue, the story. Um, so with this issue, uh, it definitely has kind of a time jump in this book, which is weird because in other books it goes back to the Brian Michael Bendis type continuity that in other books, uh, you know, Jessica and Luke are together, but here with Marvel now, um, it doesn't look like they are. Something happened. So uh, I kind of wish it connected more to the other Marvel Universe books, but maybe the other Marvel Universe will connect, uh, other Marvel Universe books will connect to this um, in the rest of Marvel now. So we'll have to see. But uh, let's start talking about the story. Uh, so with this issue, uh, we get to see, uh, we get to see Jessica back, back doing her doing her alias stuff, but she was in jail for some reason, and someone someone let her out. We don't really know who. Uh, we do have a couple of uh, supporting characters that we saw from alias, like uh, Jessica Drew, who was in alias a little bit, and then we also have, of course, Carol uh, leave a, a bit of a cameo. Still, I don't know how I feel about that, because everything going on with Civil War II, is that connected or not? I don't know, but... Um, so we get to see a little cameo from her. Uh, but mostly it's, again, Jessica trying to jump back into life. She takes a case that this this guy, this husband, um, is either crazy or believes he's from another universe. Which would make sense if he's from another universe uh, because of the ultimate universe and, and Brian Michael Bendis' connection to that. But at the same time, it's a little confusing because after uh, after Secret Wars, supposedly these universes don't exist at all. So how does someone remember about the ultimate universe? I don't know. So that part gets a little confusing continuity wise. But we have to see if they are, this person is from another Earth. It looks like uh, Brian Michael Bendis is also connecting to one of his other properties, which is uh, Spider-Man. So we, we have to have this um, wife named Gwen. Their daughter is called Norma, so obviously we don't see Gwen, but she's referenced. So it's interesting, this whole book is a lot of Brian Michael Bendis properties all in one. You have... Um, of course, uh, Jessica, jo uh, Jessica Jones, Jessica Drew, Spider-Man, the Ultimate Universe, all in one. I think Miles makes a cameo. I think this is definitely like a, uh, a world-breaking uh, thing of how many of how many of your own properties you can have in one book. But uh, yeah, it was cool to see that though. It was interesting. Um, but by the end, the, the actual um, big mystery is that Jessica did something to her daughter and Cage's daughter. Summons. Something's wrong. She's missing the daughter, uh, which I thought was a really interesting mystery to start out with. Uh, I will say, um, 
the bigger mystery, which Jessica Jones is usually really good at doing, uh, having smaller mysteries and then having a bigger mystery around it, um, was really, really interesting. Um, I'm excited to see what this means for Luke and Jessica, because that's what I wanted with this book, for it to be about Luke and Jessica, because the previous alias wasn't about that. They weren't together at that point, so I wanted this to be a family book. But at the same time, you have the regular tone of before she was um, a mother. So I like that and dislike, uh, dislike that at the same time. I like the idea that we're going back to the tone of alias, but I don't know if I, I like that her growth is not there as much here. Like, I wanted to show that she is kind of a different Jessica Jones here because we have seen her for, you know, a couple of years now in the Marvel Universe and she was a mother, but I think it's more to keep that mystery of the baby and all that. So, um, I think that will be explained as the series goes on. Uh, but yeah, overall I thought this was a very solid issue. Uh, again, there's some continuity things that I want answered here, uh, but I'm very, very invested in the mystery between Luke and Jessica. I thought it was really cool seeing the, the guest stars of uh, Jessica Drew and Misty Knight in this issue. And the, the regular mystery of um, the guy from Different Worlds was okay. That was probably the weaker part of the issue. Uh, but the dialogue's really well done here. It brings you back to Alias and, and, and the awesome, awesome some questioning that Jessica usually does, the interrogations, the 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 really full scene um, interrogations we really get here, which I don't know, maybe interrogation's a strong word, but I love the dialogue where she's asking her um, client what's going on. I think that was really well done. Uh, so overall, I gave this issue four stars. I thought it was a very solid issue, and I am excited to see where it goes, but I will say um, I hope it connects to more of the Marvel Universe as, uh, as we go along, because I think that's what could be different with Jessica Jones then with Alias. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the issue. This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also description below there are links for my comic book Like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.